Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at a program called SLAT, S-L-A-T. And this is an older version of the program. Uh, this program is used to create Second Life animations. And to get this version that I'm using, you're going to need to go to my website, medhueanimations.com, and then click on freebies, and click on this image here, and you can save the file. This version is SLAT 1007 Beta 5B. And it comes in a zip file. You'll have to unzip it and then uh, click on the executable file. So, uh, real easy now. Uh, load an animation, file load. And then you have your save options. Uh, to change the gender, you go to NM, toggle gender. There's the female version and the uh, male version. Uh, the windows on the left side here, we have a graph editor. And uh, if you know anything about uh, uh, animation programs, uh, the graph editor is the best way to edit your animations. You can see the movement of whatever part you're on and uh, its uh, smoothness through the movement. And in the top left corner, if you get that little box and click and drag, you can move the window around. Bottom right corner, you can resize it. And then at the bottom we have uh, this all the frames you can see all the frames at one time with this little slider bar and if you go to the right hand lower corner you can resize this or try and fit all the animations but it only uh, will let you see about a hundred frames of the animation anything lot larger than that and you will need that little slider bar and then uh, these little boxes, you can edit the axis of that joint just by typing in a number, clicking it and typing in a number. And these little circles give you a little view of that part in a uh, kind of T-frame thing. Uh, I don't really use it all that much, but uh, they're there. So the camera, to move, to view the different angles, all you do is click any open area, left click, hold and drag, and you can move it around, move it up, down, look at every angle. And to move the character in the scene or for viewing, you can just click on any of his parts and then you can just move them anywhere in the scene. This doesn't affect the animation, you're not moving. Uh, and not animating that part or moving him in space. It's just your view in the screen. Alignment. Alignment is a big thing that uh, a lot of people have asked me about because you don't have a floor to kind of see where your character is. So what I do, everything is referenced off the T-frame. So what I do is I set up these little markers, this line here and this vertical line here. So here's my like center line. And then the bottom line is kind of the floor. And I have to use this T-frame. What I do is line up the feet because I know the feet are flat in the T-frame because all the parts are set to zero. And then I line up those feet right on the line and then I can go through, then I can toggle through each frame and kind of make sure that my feet never go below the ground. So to create a marker, you just go to Markers, New Line. And to toggle through these animations, you're going to use your arrow keys on your keyboard. So your right and left arrow keys will toggle through. Or if you just want to play the animation, you're going to hit R, which is going to loop your animation also. And then you can hit R again to stop it. So to edit a joint, how do we edit a joint on here? So let's go to the first frame here. 
and select a joint. So you can select, you know, hover over any part and select it, or you can go to part and select a joint. But I'm on the right thigh right here, and to edit this joint, all we have to do is go to the graph editor and choose any one of the, see each one of these points is a frame. So I'm on the first frame, it's highlighted, and I can just click on the point and drag it, and the joint will move, just like that. So let's undo that. Ooh, what the heck happened there? just go like this. Actually, let's just load the animation again. Okay, so here, so that's how you kind of move the joint around, or you can just click on these and type in the number uh, that you want that axis to be at. Uh, adding and removing frames. Now this is kind of a big deal in this program because so many programs just make this part so dang hard <clears throat> and this program has made it super easy so if I wanted to remove a frame so let's say I didn't like this first frame or whatever or I just have too many frames or whatever I can just select that first frame right click and delete it now if I have a range of frames that I want to cut out of the animation and I select one point and then select another point down the, the timeline and right click delete it all. Really simple. And uh, the other uh, great part of this program that other programs seem to have a hard time with is copying and pasting. I mean, this is just so simple. If I'm on the first frame, now I'm going to click and hold it, left click and hold it, and then I can move it anywhere in the timeline. So if I wanted it there, then I just, you know, drop it right there. So you have the same frame here and there. Real quick, real easy. Now let's say um, there's a movement between two frames well actually let's go down here so let's say the the movement between these two frames is too drastic and I need it to blend a little bit more so I want to add frames between this frame and the next frame so I have both those frames selected right click frame operation frames slow down selected range by adding frames so I'm going to add let's say I'm going to add four frames to that so now if you look at my graph editor it added four frames to this point so now on the other side this movement is a little too drastic so let's say I want to add four frames here too so frames ooh, frames, slow it down, add four frames. Real quick, real simple. Let's say I think my whole animation is just way too fast. So I right select all of the frames, go here, slow down. I'm going to slow it down by 10 frames. Real quick, real easy, and you can do the opposite. You can speed it up too and your frame rate. So you can speed it up in a different way. Right now we're at 25 frames per second. If I wanted to I can drop this to 15 frames per second. So that's NM, change frames per second. Uh, what's another feature? The ghost feature. This is one of my favorite features. Now you can put a ghost, go to visual aids, ghost, and you can turn those on and off and you have a lot of different options you can go one before two before uh, lots of different ways to do this and it can be really nifty to know what your next frame is gonna do blending okay blending this is another cool feature uh, kind of works the same way as adding frames but 
let's say uh, I want to select uh, a range from here to here and I want to blend them now I could right click and do that same action frame blending or I could go frame blending and I'm selecting all axis and all selected parts now the selected parts thing is well let me finish with this so what it basically did is it blended from this point until that point okay so I can smooth out any kind of movement that I want and blend it all together but this all selected parts is kind of a, a weird way to word it because like if you would think well I'm only on the leg well, I'm not really on the leg because it has a joint selector. See, right now, all the joints are selected. So if I go and use this and say all, th all three axes, all selected parts, then that's using the whole, that's going to blend the whole body. Whereas this one will blend just the axis on the part that I specifically have selected. But with this joint editor or this uh, joint selector, I can pick and choose which parts I want to deal with. Okay, so let's say that um, I only want the neck, head, and shoulders, and maybe the chest to move. So let's say I'm on this frame, and the chest I want uh, to be up a little more. So I tilt him up, and the head, let's move some of this around, like this, and I want, so I want to move just these parts around. So now I'm only selecting the head, but if I take this and I move it down the line, just like that, Okay, it moves all the all the parts that I have that I have selected here. Okay, so now if I want to select here to here, and then go blending all selected parts. Remember, it's just the chest, neck, head, shoulders, and that's all it will move. Those parts, everything else, will be left alone. See, this arm didn't move didn't get changed but uh, so those are uh, some of the features here I'm gonna show you real quick here uh, some other uh, really crazy stuff let's say I want I have this animation and I want it to loop perfectly so let's um, narrow this down so I can see the whole thing because I have right about a hundred frames 90 some frames and so I want this to loop perfectly so I can select this point and wait let's make sure I have everything selected so I have all my parts selected so I can select this joint select the first frame which is actually the second frame if you don't count the T-frame and then I can just go blending linear just like that and we have pretty much a perfect loop you might need to play with it a little bit more but um, it really works out perfect for um, things like creating a perfect loop. So now we don't have a T-frame, but this program allows you to add one real quick. So uh, you go to frames, first frame, add first frame and perturb. It adds a new T-frame, and you might have to, I always do this. I always zero it because sometimes it doesn't not all the parts are at zero so I'll select this new t-frame zero it and then I'll go to hips part hips and I'm gonna move him up and turn him a bit just like that so his reference frame is going to set him up perfectly straightforward. 
But that's uh, basically it. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the program and have a good one.